so guys if you like what you see please stay tuned and then watch how i make my pepper chicken Sierra Leone way my way guys thank you all please kindly be patient and let's get into the video hello guys hello hello it's your girl Juliana, and i'm back again with another exciting video for you guys so in today's video i'll be doing some pepper chicken Sierra Leone way my way so with no further ado let's get straight into the video so guys i'll take you straight away to our ingredients i really hope you guys will try this out okay so now in here we have some chicken wings that i've already pre-chopped and divide into half so i've seasoned this with some chicken season this is from the packet that i've just emptied into another container and i also use some pepper calm pepper and i use my blue oopsie i was just going to drop that and i use my blue season for that and into the fire i have my pot already on the stove here so my oil is pretty hot at this stage because i'm going to be frying the chicken so i'll just do that right now and then take us to introduce us to more of our ingredient so guys stay tuned i just need to put in my chicken so you guys can see that So chicken is going to be frying. Mm. This is a vegetable oil by the way guys. I'm using some vegetable oil. So let's actually fry and then we'll come back to it. So let's go to our other ingredient guys. So now guys for our other ingredients we have one big onion and two tablespoons of peanut butter with this is just one and then I have one and a half um, capsicum one tomato some black pepper one tablespoon and one tablespoon of common as well and I have three chopped garlic here I also have some ginger with me and I'm going to be putting some ball pepper. So guys, I have two ball pepper here. All that, I'm going to just blend them together beautifully, okay? So into our blender we go now. So guys, my blender is too small, so I'm going to get two blend out of this, and yeah. So we blend the first batch and then come back. Once that's all blend together and it's crunch, I might see if I will fit this into it, okay? So guys, I was able to squeeze my other ingredient inside, but I still have a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is empty this. And then now, add the other one. And then add in my other tablespoon of peanut butter. So I'm just going to scoop this and that should do it and proceed to blending. So this is what we have. I'm just going to empty this in here. And then I take us to the chicken so we can look at it and see what we have. So I'm going to wait until the chicken is finished frying. Then I will use the other part to simmer this one so i take us to the chicken guys i'm just gonna flip that over nice it's frying really good so we leave that to brown up and mind you because we're going to be baking this so i've already lined my baking tray and i'm going to be using some olive oil actually some common oil to spray spray that and then preheat my oven to 200 and then we're going to just bake that for like 10 minutes after so guys i've let my chicken fry for like 15 minutes and this is what we have in so far nicely brown nicely gold so i'm just going to take that out and then reduce so can you see that it's starting to stick to the pan 
So I'm just going to take that out and then reduce my oil. So like so, put that in the container then. And mind you, I've already preheated my oven, okay, to 200. I don't want it to be too, like I don't want to put it all the way up. Anyways. So this is not too much. We're not going to make too much with the chicken, by the way. We're not going to make too much. And now reduce the oil. So wipe the bottom just because if you don't want any other oil to so now I'm just going to go in with my pepper mix into that. allow this to simmer allow this to simmer for 10 minutes and then we'll come back so, but you have to keep watching this because you don't want it to burn or stick to the pan so you have to keep your eye on this for the 10 minutes okay guys we'll come back with after 10 minutes and look oh and guys keep your lid on okay keep your lid on otherwise it's going to make mess in your kitchen and you don't want that Keep your lid on and cleaning should be your best friend in the kitchen, okay? Clean, clean, clean. Put the heat on low to medium, okay? So guys, this is what we have in so far. This thing is so on training. Look at it. It's going everywhere. So rude. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So I'm just quickly going to put the lid back on. I'm so scared right now. Can you see guys? Woo! So guys, I went ahead and removed the lid and add a little bit more of oil into that. I will wait until it simmer before I come back in with my seasoning. So guys, I'm back. I'm going to put Italian herbs, Italian herbs into this half a tablespoon, just because this is pepper chicken. We need all the spice in it. So I'm going to go with half teaspoon of curry powder like so I don't know if you guys can see it and I'm going to go in with my mic with my chicken stock I'm not going to use any mic for this today because this is packed with a lot of flavor okay guys I'm going to go in with one and a half teaspoon of that and then mix the two together combine all that goodness towards that so guys if you want to go in with some tomato paste you can do that it's optional so as well with the italian herb mix it's also optional i just like it there okay this is pepper chicken so why not and i'm going to go in with some canned pepper as well just half actually a whole tablespoon of canned pepper into that we need all the flavors that we can get guys so i'm letting this sit for another two more extra minutes and then i'll come in with my chicken into that so guys i'm back i'm just going to reduce the oil and remove some stew as well okay like so oh, wipe the bottom we don't want any more smoking here yeah sit that on the stove get our chicken into that give that a good stir a good stir okay stir that up and then let it sit for 10 no not 10 let it sit for five minutes and then we'll come and remove that and transfer that into the oven guys yep we just want all the flavor to get together so you give it two minutes and then come take it out two minutes is fine mm, nice so guys it's been two minutes i'm just going to transfer this to our pan and into the oven it goes okay into the oven for only five minutes guys only five minutes because our chicken is cooked 
we don't want to dry this off okay so guys this is been in the oven for about five minutes this is a straight out of the oven and this is what we have but so that's it i'll just take us to the plating area and show you how i will plate this up and eat it so guys this is my plating with some bread and some juice you can pretty much have this for any time you want any time of the day dinner lunch whatever it's fine okay even breakfast okay that's for my people that are not watching their weight guys so this is my final plating i just zoom us in and now i'm going to munch onto this thank you so much for watching please kindly hit the subscribe button share my videos comment on anything that you feel that i'm not doing right thank you thank you and bye bye see you on my next one